What's up, YouTube? This is Mathis97, and as always, welcome to another episode of WWE 2K15 Universe Mode. This is the final episode of Main Event before the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, and let's take a look at the match card. We got Big E going one-on-one -on -one with The Miz. Of course, The Miz from the newly formed Awesome Truth tag team, Big E of the New Day. Tamina Snuka goes one-on-one -on -one with one half the Funkadactyls in Cameron. Sin Cara goes one-on-one -on -one with William Regal, making his return to the ring. As I realized in the last episode of SmackDown, I said that too soon that he made his return. But Bo Dallas makes his debut one-on-one -on -one with Santina Morella here tonight. So Bo Dallas finally makes his Universe Mode debut. And what about this? Dolph Ziggler and Jack Swagger. You know, they're both in the Elimination Chamber matchup thanks to the events of the last episode of Universe Mode. So they're looking to get prepped for the Chamber match as Tamina gets a win over Cameron and William Regal gets the win over Sin Cara. And don't worry, I did get a better Sin Cara call shortly after this recording session. So the next time you see Sin Cara, that is not going to be the Sin Cara call I have. It's going to be a different creative wrestler. So, stay tuned for that. But, you know, like I said on SmackDown, Sin Cara, Rey Mysterio, Car Stereo, if you will, if you uh, get that reference, which I'm sure 90% of my audience would, as Tubby Emu is like, a, is like a mega star on YouTube, so. I mean, in terms of the WWE Games community, so. Yeah, if you don't understand the Car Stereo reference, Sin Cara, Mysterio, Stereo, Card, stereo, cut. Anyway, anyway, that's a completely random side tangent. Anyway, let's focus in on the match at hand as we've got the Miz of the Awesome Truth tag team taking on Big E of the New Day. And we know that our Truth and the Miz now have had, have, they've had their fair share of issues with the New Day. And in fact, there will be an Elimination Chamber pre-show. Episode 27 of Universe Mode will, in fact, be the Elimination Chamber pre-show, the kickoff, whatever you want to call it. But on that show, we will be seeing the New Day square off against Awesome Truth in Tatsy Mac. Not only that, don't think that that's it for the pre-show. We're also going to have a special announcement from the Undertaker himself regarding his opponent for WrestleMania 30. So, you're, that's surely going to be an announcement you do not want to miss. So, you want to stay tuned for the Elimination Chamber pre-show when it does happen. And basically, the whole reason for the Elimination Chamber pre-show, I mean, not only just for the matches, because, I mean, the New Day, this, that, that's a tag team matchup I kind of wanted to do, and I didn't really just want to throw it away on a, on a, on a nonchalant episode. So I figured, you know, there's something else I wanted to do for WrestleMania, something else I wanted to build up. So I figured, you know what? Let's do it on a pre-show. Let's let's give this pay-per-view a pre-show. And the other reason was, you know, like I said in the last episode, there's a reason why I kind of had to delay recording a certain match for the pay-per-view. And I basically spoiled it by this point, but I haven't said it directly. So if you haven't understood exactly... Um, if you haven't ex understood exactly what the delay has been, you'll find out next episode in the special announcement regarding the World Heavyweight Championship Elimination Chamber. But of course, regarding the WWE Championship Elimination Chamber, we do know that Dolph Ziggler, The Rock, and Jack Swagger have qualified thanks to... thanks to the Wyatt family. That bit of the, uh, interference, whatever took place during the main event of Raw last night, I mean, nobody saw what happened, so, I mean, you couldn't really call it a disqualification. Both men were down following that that interruption, so, I mean, it wasn't... It's, I mean, I don't know what you could real, what the referee could do about that. His hands were kind of tied. But, anyway, The Rock did get the win, which means that the Elimination Chamber matchup for the WWE title will feature John Cena, Batista, Kane, The Rock, Dolph Ziggler, and Jack Swagger. Which, of course, does tie into the main event of today's episode between Ziggler and Swagger as they get prepared for the chamber match. But now as we take a look at this one-on-one -on -one confrontation here, so we can see the New Day or, I mean, the New Day nor our truth are ringside. So this is just one-on-one -on -one as Big E and The Miz are just, you know, going one-on-one, -on -one, trying to get prepared for, well, I guess, you know, Kofi did get a victory over The Miz, so I would think Kofi, Xavier Woods, and R-Truth, you know, they're also 
in the back, just kind of getting ready, getting prepared for the Elimination Chamber pre-show when these two teams will square off. And as we can see, another power slam by Big E into the cover. Miz kicks out of one. But then, of course, you know, this is a good opportunity for Miz and Big E to kind of feel each other out, get an opportunity to see each other's skills, see, you know, kind of what they're going to go up against um, this Sunday on the pre-show. But as we can take a look now, Miz, you know, this is what Miz is going to be doing a lot during his matches. He's targeting the leg, targeting the leg of Big E. And, you know, just any of his opponents try to set them up for that figure four. But look at that snapmare driving from Miz. That could put Big E out cold here. But Big E kicks out at two. So Big E manages to stay alive in this matchup. And Miz went for the big boot. Big E dodged it. There's a German suplex. And whoa, look at that. Look at the acrobatics of Big E there. The... The flexibility and that that's that just shows the difference between most big men and big e big e you know he's also got some speed he's got explosiveness um to his style and you know he can do something like that that german suplex there and now there's a big clothesline just throwing his body weight into the miz's face and that could knock him out cold but miz kicks out at two and a half very back and forth contest right now Neither men can afford to give an inch. And look at Big E. He's got Miz up for a backbreaker there. But Big E, as you can see, he's got to recover some stamina a little bit. He's kind of getting gassed here. This match so far has taken a lot out of these two men. Very back and forth. Both men struggling to get back to their feet here. Big E now has Miz over there in the corner. There's a body shot to the gut. And now three, three punches, one to the face. And now a hip toss by Big E, tossing Miz halfway across the ring. And now Big E just pounding away at the face of Miz, just trying to trying to just brutalize the moneymaker, just really just punching it in the face. I mean, Miz, I mean, we know how he is about his face, about the moneymaker. And now Miz, Miz is looking for a bit of payback now, looking to punch Big E in the face, you know, a bit of an eye for an eye there. But Big E back to his feet now. Big punch there for the Miz, staggers Big E. Delivers another one now, and there's a third left hook, and now a right hook by the Miz, and he went for a clothesline, but Big E sidestepped it, and now he's got Miz up, backbreaker once again, taking the Miz down, and now into the cover once again, but there's a rope break, Miz able to keep himself alive in this matchup, both men trying to make it back to the feed here, as now Miz has been knocked up against the ropes, but countered by the Miz, and he takes Big E down, and at the same time working on that leg. And there's another cover, but a kick out by Big E. And right now, I mean, this this could be the turning point in this matchup for the Miz, but Big E countered, and now Miz with a counter of his own. As these two men, you know, really taking each other to the limit. And if this is any precursor to what could take place on the Elimination Chamber pre-show, then that is a matchup you are not going to want to miss. Uh, look at this. Miz. Miz, he's got Big E. Skull-crushing finale. The skull-crushing finale hits it. Hits its mark, and that should do it here. Big E has been defeated by The Miz. And Miz, really, he's done a good job at bouncing back in his career in recent weeks. I mean, of course, we take it back prior to the elimination, or prior to the Royal Rumble, when The Miz defeated John Cena in an upset match. But you had to think at that time, Cena may not have been giving it his A game, as he was heading into a match with Batista for the WWE title. And, you know, I could give Miz a WWE title opportunity in, in the Elimination Chamber if you really wanted me to, if you want me to bury him again, I can I can gladly do that. But anyway, Miz, he, you know, he's a bit preoccupied there, so he'll be competing on the pre-show against the New Day with his new tag team partner, R-Truth. So, I mean, Miz, he's, you know, he, this is the turning point for Miz. He's really turned his career around. I mean, we've got to think way back when, when he, he lost to Adam Rose... I mean, that really was just the bottom of the abyss for The Miz. But now he's turned things around, and he's finally starting to crawl his way out of the pit he has dug himself with, you know, his countless number of losses here in Universe Mode. But now it's time we move on to, you know, an inspirational match, as it's Bo Dallas going one-on-one -on -one with Santina Morella in Bo Dallas's debut match. Could we see Bo Dallas go one in Bo? Could the undefeated streak that we saw in the WWE take place here in Universe Mode? Well, we're gonna have to wait to find out. Is Bo Dallas getting ready 
No, he's... Bo Dallas, he's, he's inspirational. And Bo Dallas is quite the unique character. Something we haven't seen in universe mode before. I mean, Bo Dallas, he, he's a very respectful competitor. You know, uh, Bo Dallas, you haven't seen what he's brought to the table just yet. If you haven't seen it, well then, this match is going to be a treat. And Santino, on the other hand, you know, Santino in universe mode has been... Well, he hasn't exactly had the best of luck. He is a former United States champion. You can't forget that. Way back when, when Santino Morello was U.S. champ. He, he did, of course, lose it to Jack Swagger at Extreme Rules. But he was a U.S. champ nonetheless. So Bo Dallas is going one-on-one -on -one with the former champion here tonight. So Bo Dallas, he's going to have to stay on his game. He's going to st stay on guard. He's going to have to break his A game here tonight. Because, you know, if Santino can hit you with that Cobra, it's lights out. You're done. I don't know how, but that Cobra has got... I don't, I don't know what is in that Cobra that it makes it so lethal, but nonetheless, if you get hit with that Cobra, I mean, you're not going to get up for like a week. And look at this, an elbow drop there from Bo Dallas. But anyway, let's, let's take a look at the matchup here. As Bo Dallas, right now we see a bit of chain grappling here. Bo Dallas gains the upper hand, takes Santino Morella down, but Santino manages to squirm his way out of it. And he went for a punch, but Bo Dallas blocked it. And now a clothesline from... Dallas right there and another elbow drop there one of one of Bo's signature maneuvers the elbow drop and could he be going for another one here yes he is yes he lands the elbow right to the heart and another one three for good measure to Santina Morella three elbows to the heart and now look at Bo Dallas counter from Santino though as he takes him down with a side rushing leg sweep and look at Santino now could Santino be starting to Get some offense in here. No, Bo Dallas shuts it down. And now a running bulldog by Santino. Great move there by Santino. And up oh, the Cobra could be could be trying to make a preemptive strike here. And that could cost Santino as Bo Dallas hits him with a clothesline. And that's the only problem with Santino's Cobra. You know, he, he can't always control it. But look at Santino here. Hits a couple of jabs to the face. And oh, what a punch there. Staggers Bo Dallas. Goes into the cover. Could that be it? No, Bodell's kicks out before even the two count. And look at Santino. Build up a full head of steam, delivers a clothesline to Bo Dallas. And now a knee drop right to the face. As Santino now starting to fire up some offense here. Looking to gain control on this one. But Bo Dallas counters with a spine buster. And Santino's spine hits the mat. And Bo Dallas, wait, what's he, what's he looking to do? Oh, look at this. Bo Dallas is giving Santino an opportunity to get back to his feet. Well, like I said, Bo Dallas is a very respectful competitor. He will give his opponents, you know, he'll give his opponents a fair chance. He'll give his opponents a fair fight. So we can see right now, though, Bo Dallas is, you know, uncovering that announce table there. At least he's taking the monitors out, though. Bo Dallas, very respectful. He doesn't want to injure his opponent. He just wants to get the victory here tonight. So, I mean, he did a good job taking the monitors out there because, I mean, if you land on one of those, I mean, that definitely could... Dude, that could do a number in your career. Look at this! Bo Dazzler. The side slam from Bo Dallas. That could do it. Two counts, but Santino manages to stay alive. And yeah, Bo Dallas calls that the Bo Dazzler. And Santino has certainly just been Bo Dazzled here tonight as he gets tossed over the top rope. Bo Dallas, you know, maybe looking to go back to that announce table, perhaps. Didn't move the laptop, though, because nobody ever seems to... No one in the WWE seems to take their technology... No one seems to appreciate it. And it's always getting destroyed whenever someone hits the announce table. And Bo Dallas now, not sure exactly what he's trying to do. He's trying to prop Santino up on that table as he throws him gut first into the corner. And that's definitely a vicious maneuver. Look out. And Bo Dallas now, not not sure what he's doing. Maybe he's just playing a little bit of mind games with Santino, trying to trying to almost wake Santino up as Santino really has been hasn't hasn't had the best of luck in this matchup just yet. But oh, as he sweeps out the leg. And Santino, spine first onto the mat there. On the apron, I should say. And now Bo Dallas has Santino propped up against the announce table. Now he's got him up on top. Oh, there we go. The announce table. I mean, oh, look at this. A belly-to-belly -belly suplex. And somebody did move the laptop out of the way, though. So the laptop is good. And now Bo Dallas. You know, he, look at that. He picked up Santino. And he's giving Santino a chance to recover. Giving Santino a chance to get back in the ring here. 
Well, Santino's now recovered. I mean, just very respectful there from Bo Dallas. But look at this. Oh, a DDT. Upon entry, Santino gets met with a DDT. That could be it. One, two. No, but Bo Dallas can't get the victory as Santino kicks out. But Bo Dallas now, I think he's just one big move away from getting the win. And look at this. Another Bo Dazzler. And that could do it. That may just be the move that he needed to put Santino away. He's already hit it once. Could the second time be the charm? And it is. Bo Dallas wins in his debut match here tonight against Santino Morella. So we can see not once but twice. Bo Dallas has Bo Dazzled Santino Morella here tonight. I don't know what that means. But nonetheless, that's what Bo Dallas has just done. Even putting Santino Morella through the announce table with a belly to belly. So even though Bo Dallas, you know, he may be respectful, you know, he's still effective in that ring. He can still, you know, he can still give his opponent a run for his money. And that's just what he did here tonight. Bo Dallas, he's won in Bo as he's got the victory here tonight over Santino Morella. So a big, dick, big victory there for Bo Dallas. And as we can see there, off the Bo Dazzler, that was it. Big victory for Bo Dallas here tonight. Even though this celebration is completely unlike Bo Dallas. Because they, for whatever reason, people can't get their own celebrations in this game. You know, you always get the same generic ones. Which is a bit disappointing. But, you know, if there's anything I want to see in WWE 2K16, it's the old modes first. Make them a priority before, before making any changes. I mean, we've got my career mode. That's okay if you bring that back. You don't have to make any changes to my career mode. I don't really care. You can you can scrap the mode for all I care. If I mean, focus on the things you took out first before making any new changes. That is my hope, my wish for W2K16. But anyway, let's take a look now at the main event matchup for this evening. As it is two of the six participants in the WWE Championship Elimination Chamber matchup going one-on-one -on -one here tonight. As it is the show-off, Dolph Ziggler against the real American, Jack Swagger. Now, these two have faced off in the past before. You think all the way back to over the limit when Jack Swagger retained his United States Championship against Dolph Ziggler. So, I mean, they have had their history with each other. And they are former tag team partners. But, you know, they've put that all behind them now. And, you know, they respect one another. They they both respect each other and what they've accomplished here in Universe Ladies Mode. And, and, you know, they see themselves now as well equals. And we'll see who truly is the better man here tonight. Because, he you know, they, the they were on the same page. They were able to work together against a mutual enemy in the Shield. But the question is, now that the Shield have lost and they won't be in the Elimination Chamber, and we saw whatever happened with the Wyatt family there. Where are the Shield going to go from there? And where are the Wyatt family going to go? I mean, could we potentially see the Shield make an appearance at the Elimination Chamber during the Tag Team title match? Well, I guess we're just going to have to wait and find out. We don't know exactly what. I mean, we do know that the Shield run on principles of justice. So will they do, will they go so far as to interfere in the Tag Team title matchup uh, that the Wyatt family competes in because you know there's an old saying that two wrongs don't make a right but do the shield follow that principle do they follow that statement I don't know I don't know exactly what the shield's mindset is following Roman Reigns loss last night on Raw it's only going to be a matter of time until we find out what their mentality is and what their plan of action will be heading into Wrestlemania but right now let's focus in on the match at hand Jack Swagger, he's got Dolph Ziggler. Swagger's in control of this matchup right now, as you can see, a fisherman, a spinning fisherman suplex there, or like a fisherman neck breaker almost. And now look at Swagger, German suplex there, taking Dolph Ziggler down. And of course, both of these participants in this matchup are former amateur wrestlers. Jack Swagger, a former two-time All-American. And you know, Dolph Ziggler's also got a very impressive resume as an amateur wrestler. And look at that clothesline right there. So these are two of, like, th these are two possibly, well, arguably, of the best wrestlers, the best talent in WWE in terms of in-ring ability. I mean, we have seen Jack Swagger, he's former United States Champion, held the title from Extreme Rules 
all the way up until No Way Out. I mean, hell, Swagger is a former three-time United States champion, mind you. And I mean, his longest title reign as the U.S. champ lasted 168 days. So, I mean, Jack Swagger, he's ha he's got the longest title reign of any champion in universe mode to date. Although Ryback is approaching that number. As we can see, a nice nice snapmare there move from Dolph Ziggler's the whiplash, the back of Swagger's head bouncing off the mat there. But Swagger now back in control with an elbow to the face. Dolph Ziggler, on the other hand, you know, he's had opportunities. I also forgot to mention before I get into that that Swagger's a former tag team champion. These two have also faced off of the tag team titles in the past. But if we take a look then at Dolph Ziggler's resume, you know, he hasn't won any championships, but recently, you know, he's managed to uh, bring himself back out of obscurity when he defeated The Undertaker in December. And since then, he's trying to make a push for the WWE Championship title. And so we can see right there, Jack Swagger hits a running chop block there in the back of Ziggler's head, bouncing off the mat as well. That could do it. I mean, we've seen Swagger win matches with that before, and he does just that here tonight. Dolph Ziggler, you know, I gotta think at the same time, these two probably weren't giving it 100% here tonight. And you gotta think, the match of their careers is this Sunday in the Elimination Chamber. They have an opportunity of a lifetime to be the WWE Champion, but they have to beat five other opponents to do so. So I don't think they quite gave it 100% here tonight. They were probably holding back a little bit. But nonetheless, Jack Swagger has scored the victory. And man, has Swagger looked impressive recently. But I want to thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for SmackDown. And keep on YouTubing.